first step is to make the English muffins. They need to sit, the dough needs to sit overnight for at least 18 hours, maybe a little bit longer. Um, this is not my recipe. I will post the recipe below to give credit who came up with this fantastic recipe. So I'm not going to go in detail in here because you can watch it um, with the link below and then make your own muffins like that. But it's basically it's flour and there is yeast and here is salt and you mix that up really thoroughly. And then you have milk and water and some butter and I will put this in here. Just like so. It's really not complicated. I probably shouldn't even be filming this because it's ridiculous. And I'll warm this up until the butter melts and then add it to the dough, mix it up and let it sit overnight. I'll show you when it's mixed. There it's all mixed up. It's kind of soft and fluffy and a little bit sticky but not too bad and I will let this sit until tomorrow evening when I'm gonna make the bis not biscuits the muffins covered up with plastic and a towel over it at room temperature and you just let it sit for 18 or 24 hours um, I suppose if it gets too hot hundred and some if you don't have air conditioning you may want to pop it in the fridge at some point, but it's the weather's good here right now. So I'll leave this out until tomorrow evening. So this has been resting for about mm, 14 hours, maybe 14, 15. I don't want to wait anymore. I need to make some lunch and look at this, how bubbly it is. This was not in the refrigerator. It just sat on the countertop overnight and then, uh, they go over here. I'll dump that dough out, let it rest for a little bit, and then press it out and then cut it. They're all cut out and they get to rest comfortably now for some 45 minutes or so. There's plastic on top and I'll put a tea towel on top of that. So they can rise a little bit more and then they go in the pan. In the pan, not the oven. Pan made. <laughs> They've been resting for 45 minutes or something. And I'll put them in a pan that's on a oh, medium low. Um, in my case, it's the biggest burner, so I have it on low. And we'll just let them do their thing there for about seven minutes or so and then flip them over. I hope it works since I'm filming it. Never know. <laughs> Time to flip them. I think they look quite nice already. This works pretty good. Yum. I dust the pan with some corn flour. You can use grits too, they're just harder to bite. Um, just make sure after every go around you clean that out so it doesn't burn because that would be bad. And I also forgot to mention that you put a lid on in the beginning. It's fogging up. <laughs> but look there, not too shabby, right? Has the nice holes, it's really nice and soft. This will be my lunch and the rest stays for dinner. All done with these guys. They turned out quite nice. And the next thing is the sauce hollandaise. That's my most favorite part about Eggs Benedict with chanterelles or without. But that sauce is just so good. Gosh, I love it over moringa, pots, the young ones, and asparagus, everything else. Um, that's pretty straightforward. There's just a couple things. I have the recipe below. And while I make that, you make that in a water bath. So it's a pot in the pot system. The water's inside, it's gonna be boiling so it doesn't stick. And while I deal with that, um, I'm frying up the chanterelles. Usually I put stuff in the chanterelles like onion, garlic, all sorts of things. But in this case, I really wanted to you know, go together with the egg and the sauce. So I'm not doing anything fancy here. And um, I know eggs Benedict are supposed to be a breakfast, but give me a break. Who gets up at five in the morning and does all this? So for us, that's a dinner. I mean, if you have servants, maybe that would help. But in our house, isn't gonna happen. Mama ain't getting up at five. <laughs> 
the whole andes is a bit of an act because it takes a little bit of time, but it's really simple. You just heat your egg yolk and whisk it up in a double boiler, and then you start dripping in a little bit at the time, and it takes two hands um, of the butter, and then it will make this oh, super delicious sauce. Sauce is done. Turned out nice. See? This is so good, I could bathe in that stuff. <laughs> of course, it's nothing but fat. Um, it's really easy. The only thing to remember is go very slow in the beginning, drip in the fat in so it won't separate. It's just like making mayo. It's the same, basically the same thing. It's a mayo sauce. Um, that's it. And um, I'm going to leave this. We're not ready to eat for another couple hours. I'll just leave this here with a lid on and then... When I get ready to serve it, I'll heat the water up again and keep stirring it, and it'll be it'll be great. And the chanterelles are just about done too, so I can kick back because the only thing left is poaching the eggs when it's time to eat. So it's time to make the poached eggs. We're ready to eat. Um, this is almost at a boil. I don't really want the bubbles to come up on the top though, so I cut this back. And then ideally you make poached eggs with um, fresh eggs. I didn't have fresh eggs. These are already older, a couple weeks. So I put them in the strainer and then the runny stuff, because see on the older eggs, the egg white is runnier. So I got this stuff out. It'll go in dog food. And then I'm left with this. And now, if it works, we'll um, make a vortex here. And I'll dip the egg in, which will settle in the center. You see, it swirls around, so you don't have all this floating egg white everywhere. It's still floating anyway. <laughs> really, use fresh eggs, it's much easier. But it tastes the same, so even if it's not as pretty as it should be, it'll still be tasty. Time to assemble. First we'll put on, <laughs> that's hard, on the camera, the ham. And yes, I cut that with scissors. Here's the other part. Now we're waiting on the egg. Chanterelles are next. Now the egg. And uh, obviously this doesn't have a whole lot of egg white because I strained a lot of it off, but it's the yolk that matters. And now a good helping of sauce hollandaise. A little bit more, because that's my portion. And there we go. Yum. <laughs> 